some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Mandeville, Louisiana with this freaking moron right here, but who goes by the channel name Poncha Train Audits. Now, he hasn't been active in the past few months, but he has recently uploaded a video that, well, pretty much makes him look like a complete and total moron. You know, just like many out of the other frauditors out there. And, uh, well, he ends up getting kicked out of the courthouse because, well, he refuses to accept that the uh, courthouse uh, dress code is, well, constitutional and everything like that. Yeah, he wants to argue that point. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. Pro rules are right up here. You can have to get the cleaning and come back and dress appropriately. Okay. Which no flip flops. I, I was told to be here today. I will wait for my appearance. Oh, you got to have to take your hat off. You can come up here come and get a continuum. You're going to have to take your hat off. You're going to have to put your cell phone out in your mouth. I, I have information that I need on my cell phone. I will refuse that order. Yeah, dude. Uh, you do realize that a courthouse is not a uh, public form, a non-public form, and that is backed up by Supreme Court rulings, so therefore you can't exactly wear anything like that in a uh, courtroom, and this has been going on for, well, a very long time, dude. I mean, where have you been? Since when did you uh, fail to understand that you can't exactly uh, dress like a complete bum in a courtroom? Because I am lawfully allowed to refuse that order, because it's not a lawful order. Okay, well then you will need to leave. The judge, the judge has spoken. I would like to hear that from the judge. We're, we're telling you now you need to leave. I have a lawful reason to leave. You can, you can, put your, your you can either put the hat up or take the hat off. Yeah. Okay. If not, then you're going to have to leave. You're going to have to leave. Then I would like to file for a mistrial as my important information that I need is on my cell phone. Oh, then. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is grounds for a mistrial. My misinformed frauditor, uh, well, I don't, wouldn't call you a buddy because I don't know who you are, but you are certainly misinformed, that's for sure. I mean, uh, where do you get the idea that this can uh, wind up as an automatic mistrial if you are given a continuance or anything like that. Gee, I wonder what could have given you that idea to begin with. Could it be that uh, you are poorly educated and uh, well have been talking with, to uh, frauditors like Chile de Castro way too much? I mean, uh, you really shouldn't take legal advice from him because look where he's at nowadays. Then he's when you explain it to the judge, if you want to stay, if she says, go get your phone out of your car, yeah, then you and you want to see it, then you can go do it. But right now, you're not going to record in here. It's I not. never said I was recording. I you will. said you were going to record. I said I, I said I would like to petition to do so. You cannot. So the judge has asked you to go put your phone yeah. in your car. And I need my phone. Which All right, well, she you asked you, did you go, go get it, then she'll let you go get it. Then she'll let you go get it. So you right can now, put your head up in the car. Your phone is going to go in your car, and your hat is going to come off if you're coming back on you. What would the consequences for that be? And also, is this being recorded? Yes, we are recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a right to do that. We are authorized by the court to yes. do that. You are not. I am a member of the public, and therefore I have the right of the press. All right, look, you can either you're take your hat off. Of the press. Yes, I am actually. No, you're All right. not. I. I 
everybody is a member of the press because we all have the rights of the press. Right. Oh, oh man, you are so uh, misinformed, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, freedom of the press does not mean what you think it means, dude. Freedom of the press means that you have the right to publish your stories without government interference. Freedom of the press does not grant you special rights and privileges above everybody else. You are still an American citizen who is required to follow the laws of this country, and if you don't, there are consequences to those actions. And, uh, well, that's what separates the frauditors from everybody else. They think that they don't have to follow any laws at all, because anything outside the uh, first few amendments of the Constitution is pretty much unconstitutional in their opinion. No, we're not. So you need to take the head off and go put the phone up, and then you can come back. Then you can come back in. May I ask what's going to happen if I don't? And get arrested? You get arrested for, for telling, remaining at the forbidden? We're telling you to leave. Disturbing the peace because they're going to try to get the court started? This is a public place. And All right, so well, you could still proceedings. be dis- disturbing the peace because they want to get on with their trial and get on with their business. You're not addressed appropriately. And how does that disturb somebody else? It's keeping us from You're starting keeping us from starting court. court. How? If I have to put my hands on you, you're going to go to jail. I don't want to do that. Okay, so uh, under threat of arrest, I will I will uh, comply. What is your name and badge number? Officer Stephen Tarzia, badge two two eight. Bat name and badge number, please. I am Cal Miaza, number one six zero. Thank you, and I will be able to. I assume you're reporting yes. under. Yes, you can come up you here. Can right now. Get, you can go get it. You can go get a copy of it. You a, a, a continuance, and you just come back dressed appropriately with no problem. You can stay as long as you just take the head off and put the phone up. Well, I can't put my phone up. I can't comply okay, with then that. Go get a, my phone. Right, then go get a continuance. But officer, don't you realize that these uh, cell phones are now surgically attached to a frauditor's body? It is a permanent fixture of them. I mean, they just can't live without them. They've got to have that camera with them at all times. Otherwise... For them, the world will come to an end, which for them, uh, the world coming to an end basically means they can't go out into public and uh, shove that camera into people's faces to annoy the ever loving hell out of them. You can't come to court like that. Uh, no flip flops, no hat. Dress appropriate. Dress appropriate. Look, here's the rules up here. Yeah. I understand that, and those rules are unconstitutional. Okay. Yeah, and uh, where did you get that information from, dude? Uh, please cite your sources on what makes you think that this is unconstitutional, that the uh, dress code is unconstitutional. I mean, there's a lot of places that have dress codes, which like government offices and uh, schools and everything like that. I mean, hell, if it were unconstitutional, don't you think a damn lawyer who works as a constitutional law scholar, and I'm talking about an actual a constitutional law scholar, not the fake one like Chile de Castro, would have actually found or figured out a way to prove it to be unconstitutional by now after all, well, well over 200 years? Are you that freaking stupid, dude? I mean, you, your stupidity is just mind-boggling at this point. Okay. You can take it to the Supreme Court. Come to court dressed appropriately or not come to court and we'll issue a warrant for you. So make up your mind. We don't care. Give me another day. Can you do this please? Sarah, right here. You know what, uh, everybody, uh, 
This video ends right after he walks out of the, the main door, so we won't be able to show you a walk of shame, but I've decided that, uh, why not go ahead and make this his walk of shame, and, uh, we can, uh, end it right after he, uh, has his little pity party at the end of that walk of shame. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Technically, I can be right here. Can't All right, we're asking you to leave the building. All right, they need you because even here, you can disturb. You're disturbing the what's going, the business going on, and the trials that are going to be happening. This is a public. So you need to. I. We're asking you to please leave. Could I at least file a FOIA request or something? Well, come on now, dude. I mean. Uh, you've been kicked out of the building, I mean, don't you get the point that you're not allowed in here at this particular moment until, well, you, uh, straighten your act up and actually wear something appropriate for court? I mean, come on now, dude. This is the real world where, uh, you have to dress appropriately in certain situations for court, for work, and a lot of other places. I mean, how old are you, dude? Uh, just a uh, guy of curiosity, how old are you? For, uh, for well, what's going to be your body camera footage? All right, if you, you need don't to do that, yeah, you, do that you do have to plead. If you need to make a complaint against me, you can go to the Mandeville Police Station. It's right over here. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I've stepped out of the car. Right, yes, this, this is yeah, yeah, no, no business yeah. in here right now. This is a public building. Yeah, no right. business in here right now. All right, we need you to leave, sir. And you can come back when you dress appropriately, okay? I'm no longer in the courtroom. All right, this is still part of the courtroom, okay? No, so it is not. This is part of the public, right, so, public lobby. All right. You can get arrested for remaining at the forbidden or disturbing the peace because you're still disturbing what's going on in there. Because we want to conduct business, okay? I, I'm being, I'm trying to be polite and respectful. Okay. So. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> We're asking you to leave, sir. So you're saying that unless I completely leave this public lobby, yes, yes I will be so arrested. Of course, yes. and leave. Enjoy your lawsuit. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Watch out for the door. Might hit you again. You know, for auditor, perhaps you should consider getting an actual job because, well, I can see uh, that you've probably never held a job in your life considering that little comment about dress codes being unconstitutional. I mean, uh, where the hell did you get that from anyway? I mean, dress codes are a part of life, especially when you're out uh, in the uh, working world, if it was unconstitutional, well, it would have been uh, struck down a long time ago, you doofus. So you might want to consider uh, what you say at that point, because, well, you just made yourself look like a complete and total ignoramus. And just by posting this on your channel... Yeah, just further makes you look like an incompetent buffoon. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. I don't think anybody would want to hire you after watching this. So if you're not employed at this very moment, I highly doubt that anybody would want to hire you after the way you conducted yourself in this video. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro?
Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?